Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to another True North Disc Golf production. Uh, we were able to catch up with some of Ontario's premier players here and we decided to host a little Canadian All-Stars event. Uh, we hosted this up at La Fortune, just outside of Brantford here near our store. We've got a couple of guest commentators today. Uh, hey guys, do you want to say hello and introduce yourself? Hey. <laughs> Who's hey. this? Well, I'm Cam Zanini. You guys hopefully would know me, whether my good or bad play. <laughs> And then joined also by uh, Thomas Gilbert. How you doing, man? Welcome to the show. Where are you right now in the States? Um, I'm in Phoenix, Arizona right now, getting ready for the Memorial. It's uh, going to be a pretty awesome season. Awesome, man. Well, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for taking some time out of your schedule. That was elegant. Absolutely. <laughs> I love it. There's the elegant <laughs> hoodie that. off mode. Okay, guys, we'll talk to us a little bit about our players and we'll take it from there. Kimmy, 10-12 rated. He's had a hiatus for a bit, but he's come back and he's looked like he hasn't even missed a beat yet. So, Marty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Martin Hendel, the the Canadian champ. He's he's a great sp sponsored player by Innova, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to see how he plays this week. Ozzy Osbourne, Chris Oslin's just recently broke thousand rated into last year. Uh, mm -hmm. Says free agent now. I think he's with Thought Space Athletics right now. But he's, he's been at yeah. the top of open in this area for a while now. Oh, yeah. That's, that's my favorite <laughs> intro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Clayton Morgan from St. Thomas, Ontario, also 1,005 rated and representing Prodigy, who is actually my now current sponsor. But at this time, we when we were filming, I was sponsored by Innova. So here we go. We got the sick card. All five of us here are going to play this uh, awesome format for the All-Star event. Yeah, this is a great course. It's one of my favorites to come up in this area to play. Yeah, this is a good one. Uh, hole one, par three, 302 feet. We've got this downhole slope. How do the pros tackle this? Uh, I usually throw like a flippy putter or mid-range, depending on the, like, the wind or how I'm feeling that day, just to kind of stand it up straight and land it soft about maybe 35 feet short and have it skid down the hill. This hill, this green is kind of slanted a little bit, but mm -hmm. you're probably, what, well, you throwing a putter here, Nova? Yeah. yeah, going with my XT Nova right here, yeah. just trying to, yeah, throw it, throw it pretty flat, turn it a little bit, but. Oh, nice. oh great kick. Yeah, nice kick. Oh, That's yeah. Easily. Definitely favorable kick. Put me about 25 feet. And what is the Prodigy equivalent to that disc now that you would bag? Um, I'm really liking the PA4. I, I feel like it has a very similar uh, straight to like maybe slightly understable flight. Yeah, I used to throw a PA4 too. Nice, like good trusty putter to always turn up for you. Mm -hmm. Spe speaking of trusty putters, Marty with that freaking yellow aviator that he always beats me with. <laughs> yeah, this is his uh, double ring star San Marino aviator. He, yeah, he's been throwing this thing for years and not his best mm -hmm. throw with it. Like uh, you're gonna kick flight. off to that right side. Just pulled it a bit. Mm -hmm. Looks like a Luna from Kim. Yep, I think that's his Petamude one from the Macbeth European Open Triumph Series. That's oh, he's got this on a great line. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Ooh, oh, little oh, hot. It's a tough green to like slow down on because you got to go uphill a bit, and as soon as you go crest the hill, it, it gets fast. So. Mm -hmm. Clean, looking like maybe like an M4, possibly. Oh wow, what a straight little flip up right there. Good shot there from Clean. Chris Oz is buried behind these trees. Okay. He oh, yeah, is. here he got himself lining up. Looks like he's got a bit of a window there. Yeah. Oh, oh, hit the window, but just couldn't get around those last couple trees. It's a good effort from there. This might be going in. Ooh, oh, good whoa. Shot. Wow. And that's really like the, the creme of Martin's game right there. He, he is so good with those touchy, floaty putter up sh shots that he can almost like give runs uh, on his approaches and still keep it within like 20 feet of the basket. Yeah, he's got like a nice, almost like an air bounce, really nose up floater that he can, he mm -hmm. gets at basket height every time and like the most he's like 20 feet past. Yeah. 
Kim with the first putt of the day, looking to capitalize on early here on hole one. Great putt. Wow. Good extension. What a putt. He held, held the follow through nice and high too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a nice like circle's edge putt. That's always yeah, a good feeling sure. on hole one. Especially up, a little bit uphill green too. Beauty. Super smooth. First replay of the day. Yeah, you, you see, he never dropped that right hand though. He held that follow through to make sure he committed to it. Mm hmm. There's Clam. Hmm. <laughs> Good putt. Oh, yeah. Too. Nice birdies. He's got the most nonchalant spin putt. Yeah, it's just a complete like extension of the wrist and just pops it forward there. Good putt from you. Yep, sweet. Happy to get the birdie there on hole one. Kind of, this is one hole that's like, it's a pretty straightforward hole, but just because it's the first hole that you play, it's like, you have those nerves, you have that kind of like, uh, not quite warmed up arm, so you're not quite as confident. So it, it's definitely a great hole to get a birdie on to start the round. Yeah, I feel like if this was like the fifth or sixth hole in the round, it'd be birdied a lot more often. But because it's the first one out of the gate, you got to throw almost like a blind tunnel shot and then mm -hmm. land it nice and soft. It's a very like precise shot to throw from the first hole of the round. Yeah, absolutely. And you can see three birdies, one bogey from Chris Oslins and then a par from Marty. That's a pretty common scoring spread, I'd imagine. Yeah, a couple of birdies, a couple of pars here and there, depending on the card you're playing. Uh, you can get it. You mm -hmm. can get a really bad kick off any of those trees, and you're in jail. So, yeah, that first shot, even as an am, it's very touchy. I, I spend a lot of time practicing that, trying to to get it down. Uh, moving on to hole two, par three, 238 feet. We're throwing uphill here with this elevated basket. Some trees here on the left and on the right. Uh, my strategy as an am has always been to try to maybe crash into these trees and get through. Yeah, this is a weird one because those, those trees are right where you want to throw a nice soft hyzer. And so you kind of almost have mm -hmm. to come with a hyzer before the trees and have like a, a skip towards like maybe 20 feet or you can do this. Oh, I was trying to give it like a soft little shot there with my Nova, trying to kind of miss left of those trees and sit on the hillside, but sent it a little too far and now it's about 45 feet down the hill. Yeah, th this green is very treacherous. You can come in soft and catch it like the one random knoll on this ground and you're gone 45 feet down the hill. And that's what I'm talking about. Those oh. trees are right where you want to swing that hyzer. Kim got a nice roll around it, though. Yeah, that was a great shot there by Kim. Yeah, if you come in backside of these trees, you're 45 feet down the hill regardless. Mm -hmm. Clayton going with, I think it may be like overstable d1 or x1 possibly and yeah, there yeah, it is that's right what I'm there talking about right there that was a great shot he landed two feet from the basket and now he's got 50 footer uphill mm -hmm. already going right at it as usual yep figured we'd see this line from him yeah looks like he threw it maybe a little left but oh sneaks through that's and that perfect. is perfect slow down even, even slow that down. skidded down the hill that was crazy yeah Uh, I think this is Oz's razor claw, if I remember correctly. Yep, that looks I to be correct. I'm not sure. Something overstable. Swinging it out there wide, trying to kind of play it, stalling around those trees, and just kind of catches the last bit of them. You might have a straddle putt from there, though. Here I am lining up this uphill putt, going to give it a little bit of a jumper. Like 50 60 from there probably like 75 <laughs> yeah. or 80 exactly <laughs> especially the elevated basket as soon as i added that it's like another factor you have to really think about clean just kind of pitching up didn't have much of a line there in those trees here's oz oh, mm. it's tough to get that like power for that with that stance because you can't really like get your body behind it because you're half buried in a tree so you really got to arm it there yeah. Kim got a nice roll around the tree, and he's got a pretty open putt, and he sinks it. Yeah, that's a great way to start. Two down for two. Yeah, that's a good start. Also, just kind of looking at the background here, like we had a pretty awesome day for for with the weather. Uh, Marty's just a little bit low, but. 
This was filmed in what, November-ish? Late November? Yeah, I think it was like right at the end of November. Like November 20th or so. And yeah, I mean, this is amazing weather for Canada. It's probably about maybe 15 degrees, maybe a little bit chillier. Um, but the sun was out, which, which kept us nice and warm. And yeah, like not very much wind to speak of so far. Yeah, I remember looking at this weekend and picking it, trying to trying to find a day where everybody could play. And I saw this nice temp, low winds, beautiful day with sun. Yeah. I'm glad we took advantage of it. Got some action going. There's Clay. <laughs> <laughs> the Bud's Bud, as I call him. Nice and smooth for him from him. He, he, he looks like he barely throws it, and it goes like 400. <laughs> yeah. Right, just looks like him getting the solo birdie on that hole. And that is hole two. We'll move on to hole three. Yeah, a bunch of pars on that one. I mean, it's not uncommon. It looks like a simple hole, but, I mean, you saw, like, Kim or uh, Clayton basically parked it, and he got a bad roll, and that's not uncommon mm -hmm. on that one. Yeah, it's definitely a tough hole. All right, let's move on to hole three. Par four, 338 feet. It's a pretty treacherous hole. We got trees everywhere. You can pretty much hit any one of them and play Plinko. This is a weird one, man. Yeah, it's like, a very, very tough hole to get uh, a three on this. Yeah, lots of options here off the tee as well. I've seen people try a forehand turnover, the backhand putter. Oh, that's uh, kind of sneaky. If you get a good uh, second kick, you might be on the edge. Yeah. This is, it's it's a slight flex off the tee if you want to get an ideal placement. But even mm -hmm. if you're in ideal placement, you, you have like two five foot gaps to choose from. Yeah. Unless you blast through the tr like these trees. Yeah, yeah. But those trees are just so hard to get through. Yeah. I've seen Casey Forbes put a rock from like up to like 55 feet away. Wow. Is, I think we had that in previous coverage, didn't we? We have seen a couple shots get through that were in striking range for an eagle. I don't know if we've got oh, one yet. That was so close to being mm -hmm. really good. I mean, you've got to get a shot that weeds through all of those trees, and to some degree, that's going to be very lucky. If you've never yeah. played this course before, you're thinking 338 par 4, you're thinking like eagle all day, but really, <laughs> I don't think there's a way to get there unless you really get lucky. Like, there's no mm -hmm. clean look. Yeah. Look at this. Those are the gaps you have if you have a perfect drive, and even then, mm -hmm. they're still five feet wide. Yeah, the only play that I've ever tried that um, would oh, get man. the eagle if, if I hit the line was a forehand roller just because it's a bit skinnier. Yeah. Once it reaches those trees and it can kind of sneak through a bit easier. I also had a great second kick there. Put him in perfect yeah, oh, position. that's a super lucky kick. That's the best possible spot to be in the fairway. Like, there you go, right there, just as you were saying. Oh, yep, forehand roller, oh. upshot. Oh, oh, man. It squares that tree. You can tell he was just on the edge and he still had to get creative. It's just, it's just a tough par four, but it makes a three mm -hmm. on a 338 foot hole feel amazing. <laughs> yeah. Clayton's got a long look there. It looks like it's honestly it's the first time I think I've seen him throw in like two years. Man, yeah. like just trying trying to chop something up there, but yeah, those yeah. trees are just too tight. Like look at us. He's in a great spot, and he's still got to get some wonky angle here. Does a pretty good yeah. job of it though. Yeah, great shot. It's definitely a two-shot hole. Mm -hmm. Marty, I think is this his upshot off the tee. Uh, so he's, is this his? Was that so his two just, attempt? I can't remember. There's been so yeah, many. I think it might have been. Eagle. I think that, was that looks like it was shot. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was a sweet uh, little attempt there. Sweet run at it. Well, and that's what you were talking about in hole one. He could almost run those kinds of shots because he has such good control. Mm -hmm. oh, he, he, his angle control is phenomenal. Like, like watching on coverage is one thing, but like seeing him do it in person, it's like, do you ever miss your line? <laughs> like, hmm. He's put a lot of work in and it shows. He's very, very good with his rocks. Yes. And even like everything, really. Kim for his three. Oh, oh. oh. wow. That been what a good run. Ridiculous three I've ever seen on this hole. <laughs> mm, mm. Good try. Even you can see, like all five of these guys are thousand rated, and they're having to work pretty hard for these threes. Yeah, yeah, that's a good three there by Oz. Play yes. that hole 
pretty textbook kind of getting a little bit lucky off the drive, throwing a sneaky up shot, and then getting a nice short birdie putt. Oh, no. Uh, it's a little bit right side there for Clayton. A little tap in this stroke here and yeah, move that's on. Yeah, unfortunate miss there. One of Clayton's strengths is how positive he is. If he has a bad shot, doesn't bother him at all. He'll just laugh it off, crack a couple jokes, and oh yeah, he's get on to the he's next one. He's one of my favorites to have on a card. You just you can never have a bad round when you're playing a, a round with Clayton. Yeah. Marty with a good bird there. So we got what uh, two birdies, two pars, and a bogey, I think. Yep, I believe so. We'll see right here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, pretty even uh, score spread there. Kim at two, me and Martin at one, and then Oz and Clayton uh, back at even. Yeah, it's not uncommon to go par through those three holes, really. You want to get like one or two of them, but going mm -hmm. par through those first three, it's not like the worst thing in the world, because, I mean, hole one, you can get a bogey just like, just so quickly, and even that one too. So mm -hmm. this is a fun one, this next hole. Yeah, hole four, par three, 347 feet. You're throwing through this narrow gap um, for your tee pad, and then you're out into this wide open space. Couple of trees here on the fairway. What's the strat? I like to take kind of a, a slightly understable distance drive. Like I usually throw like an enigma and try to stand it up from a hyzer to flat and go around that big tree and kind of stall mm -hmm. it and fade it in backside. Uh, I already got a little too much turn on that one, it looks like, but... Yeah, I think he was trying to do something similar to your play, just yeah. threw it a bit low, and yeah. so I didn't give that time to carry back left at the end. Yeah. There's Sandy Handel in the background, joined us to film that day. Shoutouts to Sandy. Thank you for your help. You did awesome. Yep, absolutely. Uh, Oz, sure he's throwing here. I think that might be one of his destroyers. And comes in front of the tree, but that, that works sometimes. Okay. Yep. Oh, oh no. too much turn. He's going right at it, too. It's yeah. Strange. He's got the power to throw a big hyzer around that tree, too. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I'm, I got, I think, a PD2 here, and I'm trying to go up and around this big tree. But saw it off a little bit early on the pad. Well, he got away with it, though. But, yeah, Perfect. sneaks through and, and is bouncing up there right about 25 feet. Clayton going... Around the outside, too. Throwing it too far, as Clayton one does. Oh, wow. Oh, it got too much turn. I'm, I thought it was flat. That should be an easy up and down, though. This hole is relatively open. Yeah. Yeah, nice little, just little Luna turnover for, yeah. for Kimmy. That's a good shot. That should be an easy par. I've seen him throw this disc in more times than not, or at least give it a good run with this PA4. Yeah. Super beat in. Had that one yeah. for a really long time. Yeah, he knows that, that disc very well. That one's an oldie for sure. He throws it so well, too. Oh, this would be a huge putt. Or this oh, is Marty, sorry. Yes. How far is Marty? Was this 50? Uh, a just a closer. little bit pulled to the right. Here's Oz for the similar size putt. Oh, oh man. man. I feel like it was, if it was like close. a degree or two more of Heiser, it would have caught it. Yeah. But that's that's the thing with these with putts like that. It comes in pro side, but if it hits flat, it almost like deflects it away from the pole. Mm hmm. Oh, oh shoot. He's not already over. Yeah. It's also really cool. Everyone on the card being, being encouraging, trying to help up each other up in this early morning round. Oh, yeah, this looks like an awesome card to have. Good putt from Marty. Good cleanup. Mm hmm. No birdies. You can see wiping off his disc there a little bit. There was a little bit of moisture still on the ground, I think, just being early in the morning, but yeah. wasn't too bad there. 
Oh, you, oh no, you got a birdie. I'm sorry. I forgot your, your drive was pretty good. Mm hmm. With so many shots I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Moved to two down, tied with Kimmy, and then uh, Clayton unfortunately moved to one over, but still lots of holes left to play. I think Clayton's still just waking up. Yeah. Okay. Number five, par three, 408 feet. I love this fairway. This is just an opportunity to throw a big hyzer. This is a fun hole. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. it's actually very pretty, too, when you're here in person. Yeah. I like the, like the rolling fairway. It's The basket's like nice and framed, but this one tree on the left side. Yeah. Of the I always seem to end up behind. Yeah. This tree yeah. tends to be uh, a more of an enemy than you'd think when you get up there. All right. Let's watch yeah. this first drive. It's got to get oh. left a little bit, maybe. That may be okay. Come on. Hook up. Oh, just, oh. yeah. You had the right idea. It's like a stand-up hyzer, and you want it to glide yeah. around the corner because you don't want to fade because you're going to go behind that tree. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of hard to push yeah. to push it left enough without kind of going in early, kind of like this shot. So you almost yeah, need right to understand yeah. with this to kind of like flip up and then carry yeah. down to the, to the left side so it gets that distance. Just like the last videos I commented on at Centennial Park with you and Kimmy, it's like a, a hyzer into less of a hyzer to glide it forward. Yeah. Oh, a little bit of a slip there, but that looks pretty good if it has the distance. It's, mm, it's, it's not quite. It's 408, but it, it plays like all of it, too. Yeah, absolutely. To get there. Because also with normal hyzers, you can throw them um, a lot higher, and that's how you get the distance to travel left. But here you have yeah. to kind of throw it underneath these original um, kind of low-hanging branches off the tee. And so it kind of, it, it's a different line than just like a typical hyzer. Yeah, it's like, it's a, like a, a penetrating hyzer is probably yeah. the best way to explain that. Came, it looks like it got a bit of a slip there too. Yeah. That's a common landing zone though. Is like yeah, the left definitely. side of the hill there. I mean, that, that should be a easy decision to just lay up and take away the par. Yeah. Oh, that's... I got a good slide. Okay, yeah, that, that's that all right. Tree, it, it looks kind of skinny on the trunk but it's usually always just in the way mm -hmm. here i'm going over the trying to here. run this putt here yeah i just wasn't even looking at that branch in front of me yeah i just threw it a little bit too high out of my hand and didn't even realize i was gonna have that branch interfere with the basket oh, oh man clean probably same little issue there it wasn't was so focused on hitting the chains he forgot to look at that yeah. branch Hanging in the way. Got a tough bounce off of it, too. Whoa. Oh, wow. wow. What a birdie putt from Oz. Off from the, the knee. knee. Yeah, wow. Nose up, spinner Holy into the basket. smokes. That was a hard putt. <laughs> yeah. Like, that, that's a that's a steep hill, and the basket's elevated. So, like, that's huge. Look at that shot. Wow. What that a was, clean that putt. Committed. Yeah, I find also these, like, uphill... Um, Putts allow you to run it a little bit harder than you normally would just because you kind of have that backstop. Yeah. Oh, mm. man. Playing just a little bit off again. Yeah, that's a good, important thing to know if you're, like, trying to decide if you want to run it or not is you got to look at the green. And if it's if it's an uphill run like this, even the basket's elevated, it's so uphill, the worst you're going to be yeah. is 20 feet past. And then it's, like, an, it's a, a level putt, technically. Good save from Kim. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good par cleanups by yeah both Kim and Marty. Here I am gonna do this clean as well. I believe uh, he's gonna clean up for the bogey, unfortunately. Yeah, but yeah. his putt could have stuck too. It was one of those fifty-fifty ones. It just yeah yeah you know that's a great putt though from Oz. That's huge. Mm -hmm. What a shot. That's how you should. That's how a birdie feels, on a hole like yeah. that. Yeah, sure. that's that's a good birdie to get though. Mm -hmm. like it, it, it for how open technically the drive is, it's still a, almost like a bonus birdie in a way. Yeah, one of the things uh, to Thomas, I was really interested in. Uh, I got a chance to ask you some questions on the course from Fescues, and when mm -hmm. you were a lot of the things we talked about off air had to do with you know rewarding the player when they make and practice a great shot. Yeah. Absolutely, and that, that's a perfect kind of hole that 
exemplifies that point. Yeah, if you have any more of those insights, definitely talk about them because I, I think they're very interesting to hear. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like this whole, for example, you can even kind of apply that as well. This is this is a shot where um, some people are probably going to be throwing kind of like straight fairway driver or maybe overstable and flex it. Oh, Oz just catches a little bit of that right yeah, side tree. He, he had the right like shot shape. He just might have pulled it a, just a little bit to the right. Yeah, exactly. But this, like I here, I'm going, one. I'm going pretty straight mid. And I yeah, yeah, that's my slightly point. early release it, but trying to turn it towards the basket there. Oh. But that tree is is yeah. in the perfect place. So I got to make sure I keep it low, all the way up to the green. This is a beautiful hole. This looks really good. This turns a little bit. Turning. Mm. Or go left side. That's okay. That's uh, what's <laughs> I think that's a very fortunate kick at the end. Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna keep oh, him. Yeah. Oh yeah, right there. Three, Thirty-five feet ish. Mm -hmm. See if Kim can make the slight adjustment off that line. He's got it low. He's got it turning. Oh yeah, that is perfect shot. Underneath the branches. Land it Looks like a nice Page short. Pierce stalker. Yeah. yeah. All right, Clay, let's see it. Looks like he has that mid again. Yeah, he throws this one really well. This looks pretty good. Uh, maybe fading a little early. Yeah, it, it wanted to turn, too, you can tell. Yeah. That's a common landing zone right there, though. 45 mm -hmm. feet short left. It's not uncommon. Good up from Oz there. Yep, great approach. Here I am, probably about like 55 feet or so. Mm. Oh, it's not quite giving enough pop. It's a tough green though, because it's so fast with the pine straw, and if you get any bit of slide, you can go behind one tree and then it's a tough putt behind it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh. That's, uh, I was not, not expecting that one. I thought he was going to jam. No, it's, yeah, that's not typical of Marty, but see if we capitalize on this comebacker. Oh, no. Man. Maybe just, yeah, slightly obstructed or... Felt a little yeah. cramped in that lie there. Good putt there from Kimmy. Yep. Yep, good clean up for par. There you Here go. we go. Good putt. Yep, that was nice and hard at that time. <laughs> he, he's pumped about it. Oh, uh, yeah. He's just pumped to play disc golf, man. Yeah. He loves it. Just being outside and just, like, enjoying the sport that he loves, that, that just it makes him happy all the time. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. There's a little. Another solo bird, it looks like, from Kimmy. Unfortunate mm -hmm. four there for Marty. Yeah, just a little bit of putting error there for Marty and he's gonna unfortunately drop a stroke. Kim taking the lead now at minus three, you're right behind him. Yep. So. Yeah, this is a really interesting hole too. This, this is probably my favorite hole in the course. I, in, in my personal opinion. Just like the way it's mm -hmm. shaped, it really, it's a two-shot hole and it rewards placement off the drive. Yeah. Number seven here, par four, 528 feet. There's so many different strategies I've seen people use. Uh, my favorite one being a roller shot. Yeah, what? That's, uh, that's the aggressive play. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, that's an aggressive play for sure. Scary? Uh, yeah, I, I would say just it's, like keeping on that cut yeah. angle, uh, moving because you have to, you have to keep it cutting that's left, long. otherwise you're going to go straight into the wow. um, trees there to the right of Kimmy's perfect drive. That was gorgeous. That is like the perfect air shot drive that you can throw. 
Oh, just a bit too uh, high. Looks like. Oh, he got through, though. Did he sneak through, though? Wow, did he ever get through? He did, yeah. That's great. That's yeah, he, he got fairly far up there. I usually play like a Sexton Firebird sidearm up the up up that gap, but throw it low on a bit of a hyzer. I'll yeah. speak of the roller. Speaking of aggressive. Flip. Yep, this is my Come on. favorite oh. shot, but just put a little too much cut angle on it, and I'm going to be just in the rough. Yeah. You're, you're tall enough, you should be able to throw over that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, just a little bit high, catches that that high limb and just kicks him straight to the ground. Oh, and Marty's got this pulled too. Okay, it might be a par from there. I'm not, I'm not sure if Marty can get there from that spot. Yeah. Leighton just trying to get up towards that big tree there. Oh, no, this looks like trouble. Far maybe? Yeah, that's tough over there. Oh no. He's gonna have a really hard lie there from all those straggly bushes and trees. Roller. Wow, Marty getting really aggressive. Is that okay? Oh, I think it hit that tree up. there just yeah. just in front of Sandy and just kinda stopped. That is not where I thought I was going. But that's a good shot. Hey, there we go. Yeah, that's a good shot. I thought he was going Leave like himself. in the middle. Maybe like a 35 footer or so? Yeah, a little bit downhill. Uh, it's kind of a safe one if you have like a, a nice floaty putt like Oz does. Mm -hmm. It's a safe one to run. Can't tell mm -hmm. that line of depth. It looked like it was on an okay line though. Yeah. Here I am kind of straddling out. I have my Sexton Firebird here. Trying to give it a little bit of flex. Yeah, hey, right up there with Oz. Yeah, yeah. I think we're pretty much side by side. Still not at Kim's drive yet. Yeah. It's crazy. And Marty here on his second shot. This is a shot that Marty has made a career out of. Is that like, that standstill yeah. spinny shot like that? He's so good yeah. at that. Just like aiming at the left side, knowing that he'll put a turn on the disc and just still have the speed control to park the basket. Yeah. That is a huge shot. Yeah, that is that is a perfect drive. And a very nice upshot there as well. Anything on the road, like, is a good drive on this one. And he's, what, 70 feet past the road? Yeah. Clayton. Oh. He got, it, he got on the good side, though, but yeah. Yeah, he'll, he'll hopefully have a little straddle putt out from, from the edge there. Go oh, in. What a putt. Nice <laughs> shot. Wow, you were, you were further than I thought you were on that one, actually. Yeah, that's probably maybe about 45 feet or so. Yeah. And just, yeah, just using that downhill, just spinning it up there and, and letting it drift down into the basket. Beauty. Look at this shot. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, those putts definitely feel really good to get. Those are some bonus range putts. Oh, for sure. And that's maybe just a little bit closer. Yeah. Oh, nice, yeah. Nice floaty putt at it. Beauty. Hmm. You can see he's happy with that putt as well. Yeah, good commitment there. Uh -huh. Beautiful so shot, dead hearted. center. Yeah. He's got a good jump putt. Even like whether he step putts or straddle putts, he's always used very right on line. Come on, Clayton. Oh, mm. man, I thought it was in. Yeah, just barely left. <laughs> <laughs> trying to catch your legs there, Jeff. Trying to jump out of the way. Dance there a bit, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> or I guess circle dance because it's a, a circular disc, not a square disc. But yeah, I don't want to hit. I don't ever want to hit the disc. No. I don't want to touch it because I don't want to mess up the action. Good, good par save there from Marty. Good putt from Clayton though. That's a tough putt for a double bogey. Like any any that's yeah. a tough putt in general, but when you when you know you gotta like stop the bleeding, that's that can get a little bit scarier. Yeah, for sure. And Kim here, just to clean up his awesome birdie. Yeah, that's a, that's yeah. A, that's making the hole a lot easier than it it is. Textbook. I've never seen a drive that far. That's huge. Yeah, he really threw that 
With the perfect height, perfect ceiling. And no danger at all at any point. No, it was pure the whole way. Yep. Great shot. Okay, three birdies. Good hole. Yeah, that's I feel like it's pretty good scoring for this hole. Clayton just kind of found the trouble on it, but yeah, he just got a couple. He's got, had a couple rough kicks so far. Mm -hmm. He's not throwing the disc egregiously awful. He's just getting some bit of bad luck. All right, number eight, par three, 304 feet. The basket's located at the end of this fairway right behind this building. Yeah, this is a, a new change last year. It used to be kind of uh, a blind turnover or a sidearm. I think I think it, it's definitely farther than 304 feet now. But this, I like this change. It's a, it's a good flex shot. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, no. oh. Yeah, and Kimmy's voice says it all there. That is a very disappointing drive on this hole. He's going to have a yeah. lot left, almost the entire hole, but almost from a worse position, being in the yeah, rough he, over on the left side. Yeah, he can't get a run up, and he's still got to throw probably 360, 370. And I'll bet you yeah. he can still park it. Oh, he can, for sure. I'll bet but you he could. That's, that's a tough shot now. Oh, super tough, but I still think he could oh, do it. Wow, he's going to sneak through. Oh, wow. Get that up there. very fortunate. Wow. That's still yeah. that's, that's a good spot still for that uh, that break he got. Here, what am I throwing? I think I'm throwing that same like swirly PD two. Maybe just Try trying to crank it over and let it flex. Mm. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even see that that you just hit. Dang! And, and yeah, then I saw everything else in the process. <laughs> yeah. Naturally. Uh, I'm somewhere, I think, just past that shed. Gonna probably be like a 80 foot approach from the rough. Marty, let's go. That's gotta get stable. Oh, come on. Hurry, hurry. Okay, it's not the worst. Yeah, probably some distance from the right side. Turn. Come on, flip. Oh, I was so close. Flip. Oh. Okay, that's not, that's not bad. It's a good tree, probably. Kimmy having to bust out the um, unusual sidearm for him, but I know he's been working on it a little bit. But, oh, forehand roller! Oh, I kind of like that play. That's still that's still a good shot from there. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. hit that tree, but that's still that's makeable. Yep. It's long, but it's makeable. Oh, Clayton. Ah, uh, Clay. Trying to hit that that small gap. He's farther than I thought he was. Still got a bit of work left, actually. Ooh, yeah. He gave himself a little bit of a tester putt. Was there a bit of wind coming through on this one? Maybe like through that. Yeah, pathway, it seems so. It definitely looks like there's a, a bit of wind, a bit of crosswind that's affecting these shots. Because, yeah, Kim's, Kim's drive just floated uh, to the left there a little bit more than I think yeah. he thought it was going to. Great shot from Marty. Marty knows exactly how to control that disc, though, through any wind. He yeah. has a great approach. Oh, good Ooh. line. Great angle there. Mm -hmm. Oz is very good with landing his putt soft. Yeah, it should be a yeah. Routine There's my just pitch up from the woods. Yeah. This is Kim for bogey, I think. Yeah. Good putt. Wow. wow. Great bogey save. That's a low key like bit of a death putt. You can see it slopes down a little bit, and if you air it and mm -hmm. you go into that stuff, good luck even getting yeah. it. Yeah. Good putt from Clay. Tough stretch here for Clayton, but he's looks like he's found his putt now. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you can kind of hear us joking around about that same kind of thing. Yeah. Couple. There's a few cleanups here for par. Couple bogeys. Yep. That's a great putt. Yeah. Great putt save. That's a very nervy putt. Definitely. 
Okay, we got to tie at the lead now. You and Kim at minus three. Oz right behind you. Marty uh, scrounging at even par. Mm -hmm. And Clayton just having one of, just one of those rounds. Yeah, for sure. It's it's really hard to kind of dig yourself out of out of that hole if you find yourself in that place. Clayton's super fun to play with, even if he's having a bad game, which it oh, does yeah, happen. Absolutely. Happens to everybody. Oh yeah. Uh, number nine, par four, 467 feet. This is the super cool hole where you got to go all the way down the fairway to the end. And then it's this 90 degree turn to the right. Yeah. There's kind of two plays in this one. There's like a, a chunk hyzer to lay up short left where that, we're see where that short grass opens up. And then there's this play. It's got to get a little greasy. Yeah, it's not the best spot, but he might have something from there. Oh, green. holy smokes, that's a big drive. <laughs> I, might, I might be going 18's fairway. Holy smokes. That's perfect. That's almost only yeah. long. Yeah, holy <laughs> smokes. But like, that, that's, that's the other play. You either have to go really aggressive or you can play very conservative. There's not really like an in-between shot you can do. No, no. I mean, for me, I'm just trying to get over all the danger off the tee and, and hopefully land in between that path and, uh, and the bushes. But that's going to be a, a really nice, open, easy position. Uh, just a pitch around forehand where, if you, yeah, right there, if you come up a little bit short, it's going to be a really tricky scramble to try to get that birdie or even save par. Yeah, it's a big risk reward to go up the middle. As you can see, if you oh, turn no. over too much, this right side bunker is, is very treacherous. Even the Kim is rolling, he might, he's going to have a weird shot. But like Absolutely. The, the, safe, the safe hyzer play. Uh, it nets you a fairway hit, but then it makes your second shot a little more awkward. So it's kind of, you know, what, what do you want to bite off first, right? Mm -hmm. It's a good hole regardless. It's definitely one, like, a three feels really good on. Yeah. Virtually everyone's in the same position but you. That's the thing, yeah. That, that aggressive shot is, you, you, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh. Wow, it's so uh, thick. Yeah, it's it's tough in that spot. Even the middle. Yeah, me and Kim had talked about this lie in. Uh, there's this little forehand gap that Oz is here now lining up and if you had hit it perfectly You could have gotten up and down uh, For birdie, but it was definitely a very tricky lie to hit you can see even Marty's gonna wow. try to go forehand roller All four of you guys were like within like 10 feet of each other Yeah Definitely a really tricky spot. Yep <laughs> right there again Oh, Just Constantly. Well, oh, actually, it's rolling. He's got a putt there. Yep. Four is not too bad on this one. Unless you're where you are. And a four would be yeah, awful. Yeah. Four would be bad from here. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Good shot. Yeah. Just uh, after all that distance off the tee, it's, it's a pretty easy um, sidearm approach there just with my uh, R Pro pig. Keep oh, Kimmy getting overhand. fancy. Wow. Okay. That was impressive. Little like tomahawk shot there. Marty's yeah. doing the same. These guys are pretty, nice. all pretty similar. Looks like all four of them. Yeah. Getting creative in that tricky lie. That's a good shot there. Good touch. Yep. Looks like a gator. Probably just throwing a nice ante to have the disc flatten out and do the work for him. Get in. Go Ooh, in. Wow. Oh, nice run from Clayton. A bunch of pars and looks like one birdie for you. Yep. That's both looking to be the scoring spread here. Ooh, Ooh Oz. That was close. A little high in the chains, but catches well. I'm already cleaning up. <laughs> oh, is that a stroke? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 Looks like they're ready for the Super Bowl before it even happened. <laughs> okay, no, uh, no harm done that hole. Looks like everyone got par better, so that's good. Yep. Yeah, and here are the scores uh, through the front nine. Myself at four down, Kimmy at three, Martin even, Oz two down, and then Clayton... Unfortunately, yeah, just having that rough round at five over. But that is all we're going to have here for this front nine. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed and catch us on the back nine.
Yeah, it's excited to see how this uh, unfolds for sure, especially the back nine's a little bit more attackable, it looks like. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're up for the top link leaderboard. If you guys want to go over the scores a little bit, tell us about what happened here. Yeah, so I mean, it looks like uh, the, the one thing that kind of stands out to me is just with that one stroke lead, I have the, the one clean uh, card of the group so far yeah. with, with no red on the scorecard. You and Kim have this, uh, the same amount of birdies. Yeah, it exactly. Like. It's just, it's just, he has that one red red stroke. That's all the difference is. Mm -hmm. Marty, I'm surprised only had one birdie. Yeah, yeah, very surprising. He was close though. He had the putts for sure. Just, just a little bit off. Mm -hmm. Just checking out a new brand we just got in the shop. There's Viking. We're just able to get their product, which is cool. We got a huge new restock of Prodigy product that came in today too. Oh, awesome! Yeah. Anybody who wants to check out some Prodigy, they got some great discs. Yeah, we got all their newest stuff. It just arrived. Cool, guys. Okay. Um, we're going to move on to the back nine of round one. So thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you soon.